Watch now as I take you down a road that is less traveled in the field of medicine. You've seen all the doctors taking many tests and pills, but you keep getting worse. Do you know why? Welcome to Know the Cause. Hi, I'm Denny from Dining with Denny. I hope you enjoy the meals I bring to you, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to go out and make them. Welcome to Know the Cause. Here's Doug Kaufman. Well, Denny, as I live and breathe, Denny and I are gonna step out to the kitchen in just a moment here, and we're gonna cook something called bok choy. Any of you like bok choy? Delicious, with salmon, amazing. And then a few days ago, I sat down with Kim Bright of Sweet Wheat, and a testimonial called in, a woman named Lori called in, who had a serious disease, cancer, and who found that when she regulated and adjusted her pH, cancer seems to grow when people are very, very acid. But when she got her pH up with Sweet Wheat, she began to feel better. Folks, there isn't one product that cures cancer. But as part of a good program, this might really help. All that and more on today's Know the Cause. You know, we don't care here on Know the Cause about low carb, low calorie, no fat foods, but this food has it. Denny introduced me to this some time ago. It's called bok choy. Well, I've eaten it a long time ago in Asian restaurants. You know, usually cook with bok choy, but here's a, here's a food with very, very high, over 100% of the RDAs in vitamin A, C, and K, high calcium and so forth. And look at this thing. It's just dying it's pretty, yeah. to, you know, have some kind of fish put on top of it and be eaten. <laughs> Well, you know, I hadn't really thought of using it raw, and my friend told me that she loves uh, bok choy sa in a salad, just mm -hmm. raw. Mm -hmm. So um, I tried it, and I thought it was really good. Bok choy is real mild. Um, for a cruciferous vegetable, it's really one of the more mild ones. So we'll take a little of each, the okay. green and the crunchy parts, and put them together here. Denny, you said this segment was going to be <clears throat> an instead of segment. Right. So, instead of salad greens, we're mm -hmm. going to use some bok choy, bok choy. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, In, put a instead of canola oil. We're okay, there you go. <laughs> instead of uh, peanut oil, yep, we're going to exactly. use a little olive oil. And instead of red wine vinegar, we're going to use a little lemon juice mm -hmm. and lime juice. Normally, you'd put some tuna fish on here. Instead of tuna fish, we're going to use a little wild salmon. This oh, is uh, yes. canned, but it's wild caught salmon, better for you, oh, plus it has so all good. those great omega-3s, mm -hmm. right? Just a really, really healthy dish, according to uh, Men's Magazine, one of the top 40 superpower foods is bok choy. Yeah, yeah. they know what they're talking about. They do, and instead of, what would we say? Well, instead of some other vegetable, we have sea vegetables. <laughs> yeah. Maybe instead of salt, because it does lend a little s salty kind of flavor too, and there you go. You look, have kind of an Asian... The, Denny's presentation, look at that. Isn't that just spectacular? There is so much nutrition in this bowl of food. It, it, it never ceases to amaze me how you put phase one together with great, great nutrition, but that's what phase one different. is. Yeah, let's try a little of this. And I see as you're getting that, I see that little bones in the salmon. Those are real good for you too. They're real soft. A lot soft. of calcium. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. But they're soft and edible. See, this would be a whole meal for many people. Uh, some of you say, well, this is the opening salad. This is a whole meal. And <laughs> well, it's have the rest of it. You know, put the whole thing in. Have two of them. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, good nutrition in bok choy, good nutrition in sweet wheat, both vegetables. Now remember, this is a segment I sat down with Kim and we talked about sweet wheat and then Lori called in who has cancer. Folks, there isn't one product that fixes cancer, but when used as a part of a good program, I think it can help. Watch this.
And in the beginning of the show, I told you we were going to be with a very special guest today. Kim Bright and I go back, you know, 100 years. <laughs> We've known each other, maybe 15 years uh, since we first met. At that time, she was harvesting organic wheat grass. And this company has just taken off. Thank you for coming in and talking with us. Thanks for uh, having me. We have a special guest that you introduced me to, Lori, and we're going to be talking with her in a couple of minutes. But give the audience an idea of 15 years ago versus now. We've learned a lot oh, yeah. with this well, product. You know, we came on your show about 15. We were one of your first sponsors, yeah. Long in the Dark Ages, yeah. Wagon Wheel Days, you know. <laughs> And uh, it's been fun ever since. But we started the com I started the company almost 19 years ago. Wow. So we've been in business 19 years. Started out with our flagship product, wheatgrass juice powder. And what does that do? Organic wheatgrass juice, sweet wheat. It, it cleans your blood. You need clean blood to stay out of the problems, having diseases and breakdowns of the body. So one of the best things you can do is eat alkaline foods. And wheatgrass juice is one of the most alkalizing foods there is on the planet. That's yep. why I chose to start the company with this product and named it Sweet Wheat and it's organic and it's vegetarian and it does miraculous things inside, outside the body. We have so many incredible stories and this lady that we're going to be hearing from dropped by out of the blue to tell us how wonderful um, Sweet Wheat is and what it did for her mother. We get so many compliments on our phones also so Thank congratulations Thank for you. this. Now, Lori, are you there? Yes, I am. Lori has an amazing story she wants to share with you folks. So, Lori, it's your floor for the next couple of minutes. Go ahead and welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. And um, we'll start by saying that my mother was diagnosed with cancer for the third time mm -hmm. right after Christmas of this last year. And after going through two rounds of chemotherapy and the cancer had come back, we decided to take a different approach. We had heard that there were alternative cancer treatments out there, and we began to look into them. And we discovered that through two Nobel Prize winners, Otto Warburg and Max Planck, that cancer cannot live. They proved this, that cancer cannot live in an alkaline, oxygen-rich body. Mm -hmm. So we decided that that was the approach that we were going to take with her. And the goal was to alkaline her body, and make it oxygen rich through diet and exercise. And so we began to flood her body with nutrition. And one of the first things that we discovered was the wheatgrass, organic wheatgrass, we were juicing through the juicer. And if you've ever juiced it, it makes a horrific sound and it can be very expensive. <laughs> so we discovered Brightcore Nutrition on the internet and we called, asked a bunch of questions. They were so wonderful and helpful. And we ordered from there and they have this wonderful product called Sweet Wheat in the capsules. And two serving, or two of them is a serving. And we brought that into her diet because we learned that wheatgrass is very high in the alkaline food chart. And we knew that if we could alkaline her body, we could stop the growth of the cancer or potentially stop that. And we began ordering and using that. And that was one of the very first staples that we implemented into her diet at the very beginning. And since then, after the six months of using that, we had successfully stopped the growth of the tumor. Mm. And then over the past three months, the tumor has now become necrotic. The inside has been liquefied, and it is dying. And we attribute wow. that to the fact that it is a proven fact that cancer cannot live in an oxygen-rich alkaline body. And as a certified health coach, the seminars that I teach I sell Brightcore products at all my seminars. I sell them online on my website. And the testimony that we have is just so wonderful because when you flood your body with health and nutrition, your body will do what God created it to do, and that is to heal itself. You know and what, so we're Lori, just very thankful have... for Brightcore. My husband and I use it, yep. and we love the convenience of Brightcore products because we, went on, we go on vacation and we take our sweet wheat with us and we are able to implement that into our diet while we're on vacation because you know the restaurant scene isn't all that healthy but it's one of the ways that we can incorporate health and nutrition when we go on vacation and Lori, let work. me, let me take ask it with you, you to your job. Let me ask you Lori, did you, has she gone back to this oncologist and has he uh, verified that she's getting better? Oh absolutely, wow. absolutely and we were told that this was inoperable cancer and the only alternative that she had that they were giving her was chemotherapy and radiation and we just still continued on this journey and it has proven to be very effective. 
God bless you, Lori. That is a testimonial that is absolutely amazing. I'm going to high five Kim. <laughs> That's just, that's too good. Okay, now, uh, Lori, thank you for that testimonial. God bless you and your family and your mom. Congratulations on that. Folks, now thank your you. appetite is whetted, right? Now you want to know more about this product. Don't go away. Kim will be right back with more. Here to help you with your health issues today is Frank Jordan, bringing you the NSC Minute. Good news, NSC is your place for free stuff that can benefit your health. First, ask for the free sample of the NSC Ammunition Glucan. Yours by calling the number on your screen. Your free sample comes with free shipping and handling too, no gimmicks. Want more? Join the NSC Club free and get 24% off any NSC Ammunition product plus free club shipping and handling. Get a free ammunition product after your first NSC Club purchase. Your first NSC Club selections come right to your mailbox each month and you can even change the NSC products you want to receive. Then sign up for the free emails telling you first about the Super Save Ammunition Special for the week featuring a different NSC Ammunition product that discounts up to 50%. If you want your free stuff from NSC, just call us or go to the website. Remember, when you can't, Ammunition Glue can. Okay, all of you have seen this in the news a short time ago, but I have two copies of it. The New York Times has this headline, Glaxo says it will stop paying doctors to promote drugs. Paying, isn't that bribery? Paying someone to prescribe your medication? Then uh, another headline in a medical uh, newsletter I get says, same subject, the announcement by a pharmaceutical giant that it would stop paying physicians for speaking engagements. So what is it, to promote their drugs or for speaking engagements? As it turns out, folks, it's both. I mean, this has been going on. What I can't believe is this pharmaceutical giant came clean. Well, we're gonna stop giving these doctors money to prescribe our drugs or to give a lecture. Can you imagine, would you think that'd be a biased lecture? Real stopping of the conflict is going to occur when we stop allowing drug companies, private businesses, to teach our doctors after they graduate from medical school. All doctors have to go through CME, continuing medical education classes. The nurses watching right now do too. A lot of medical people do. I think it's a great idea. I think having drug companies do that is wrong. We'd have been turned over our dad's knees and spanked when we were little if we cheated this way. And yes, I use that word. I don't think it's fair to take a room of physicians and pay them to promote drugs. You think the doctor is going to be able to use his conscience when he sees a patient with these conditions? And then you have to ask, why did this one company come clean? But the practice has also been criticized by those who question whether it unduly influences information doctors give to each other and can lead them to prescribe inappropriately certain drugs to certain patients. All such payments by pharmaceutical companies are to be made public next year under requirements of the Obama administration's new health care law. And there you have it. They're coming clean because they had to come clean, folks. Think twice. I try and live drug-free. So far, so good, but that's just my take. That's My Take is brought to you by NSC Immunition Products. Let your better tomorrow begin today with Immunition Products. Thanks in part to Know the Cause, doctors are finally understanding that there is a food disease link. Cooking the right food makes all the difference in the world. Now the right diet is memorialized in a book called Cooking Your Way to Good Health. Fungi are parasites, they need to eat. Starve them and they'll begin dying. Along with antifungals, eating right is very important. Now you can eat right by reading Cooking Your Way to Good Health. It's a recipe book. Many years ago, while growing up in the nutrient-rich green countryside of Japan, Dr. Ohira had the genesis for the idea that would become the fermentation process for one of Japan's best probiotics when traveling in Malaysia. Dr. Ohira concluded it must be the fermented foods they ate that contained these beneficial probiotic bacteria that contributed to their good digestion and enhanced immune health. Dr. Ohira's probiotics are the ultimate in probiotic supplementation. Feel the Dr. Ohira difference. I have a girlfriend, uh, her name is Teresa Martin. 
she had Graves' disease, and I heard um, Doug's name through her. She told me that um, her symptoms were very bad, she was really very bad, and she started following the phase one diet, and it's totally gone. She's living a healthy life today. For the record, Doug rocks. <laughs>You know, many years ago, a friend of mine up north in the U.S. asked me if I would begin writing a column in her newspaper. I did so, and we've memorialized five years of that in a book called The Fungus Link to Health Problems. Not only do we have the phase one, phase two diets, but also a fungal quotient. How do I know if my symptoms are linked to fungus? This book will probably help you. Get the diet, get the fungal quotient, get five years of information in the book, The Fungus Link to Health Problems. Well, you need about one Lori in every state. I mean, what an amazing testimonial. This is a woman of God. I mean, she's a woman's minister, and she's helping people get well through her knowledge. I mean, she's like John, my producer at church. She just knows the answers and goes and changes people's lives. She's diet. so amazing. But you know, one thing I want to state, though, is sweet wheat's not the magic pill. It doesn't cure cancer. It is a component in cleaning the blood out, in alkalizing the blood, in making the body inhospitable to fungus and disease and things like that that grow in acidity. Mm -hmm. So that was a big component of her mother's diet. But I really want to make it very right. clear that, you know, this isn't the magic pill. Right, There exactly. is no magic pill. But Kim, what makes our body become acidic? How come so many people are vulnerable to diseases like cancer? Well, because they have dirty, sticky blood. They eat, they prod, you know, too many dairy products that have been overprocessed, overprocessed foods mainly. I mean, you know, 80 to 90 percent of most Americans eat the majority of their diets overprocessed foods. So what we're doing is we're making our blood dirty and sticky and the platelets stick together and we have, you know, heart disease, we have, uh, you know, cancer. We, yeah. All these things stem from an unhealthy, it's like a swamp. Swamps are where things, where nature and uh, is is making things die because it needs to return back to the earth. When we, by the time we get all these different diseases in our body with the fungus and the yeast takeover, we're we're dying. And so what you have to do is you have to take away that swampy environment, that sticky blood, and clean your blood through exercise, oxygenation, which wheatgrass juice definitely helps oxygenate promote oxygen yep, yep. in the body. I'm chlorophyll sure is so is. important. Chlorophyll is highly important to to have in the body to make clean blood and and organic wheatgrass juice, sweet wheat's one of the highest sources of chlorophyll going. You know what else it is? What? It's antifungal and antibacterial. I yes. Mean, this Loaded with just... amino acids, all your minerals, all your vitamins and live active enzymes, Doug. Kim and I had so much fun 15 years ago. I don't know if you remember, but I put a little of this under my tongue. And you and just then, did it now. And then I spoke. <laughs> We're, this was live TV. And then I spoke, and a plume of green <laughs> just went out. So I won't do that again. But I will do this. One little scoop, stir it up good, and a little bit of water. You know, I'm thinking this would render even tap water as harmless as tap water can be. It does. Ann Wigmore, Dr. Ann Wigmore, yeah. used to use blades of wheatgrass to, to uh, negate any kind of chlorine or other chemicals in the water, in the tap water. Such and you know, if you want to make a shot of wheatgrass juice, then you'd use an ounce. You've got about six ounces there, or maybe four or six, so. Is it okay? It's fine. Can I overdose it's on fine. it? It's fine. No, you cannot. It's mm. a food. It's a food. And it's so rich green, and doesn't it smell wonderful? It's mm -hmm. got that fresh, mm -hmm. clean taste, and. I've always loved that smell. I yeah. just, and Kim, I'm the kind of guy, before I met you, that would go into a health food store just energyless. I'd be in a health food store buying my organic vegetables, but I was stressed out, business, and you know all sorts of decisions I had to make. And I'd go up and order an ounce, mm -hmm. at three or four dollars. You know, but boy, I would get to the car after shopping and I was going. And then I found you, just like Lori, then I found you and realized that that's what this provides. Now you have it in capsules or powder. Capsules or powder, and that was one of the things I wanted, is I wanted to bring the cost down, but yet I didn't want to lose any of the components in it. And the most incredible component that we contain still in the sweet wheat in a dried form is its enzymatic uh, activity. And enzymes, without enzymes in the body, your body can't have clean blood. It can't do the work because enzymes are responsible for all your metabolism and all the, the functions that the metabolism mm -hmm. does in the body. So without enzymes, life can't take place. So you're on your way to death. If you use all your enzymes up, you are on your way to death. And so you want to replace your enzymes every day and promote that good blood, that clean blood. And even if you don't choose the correct foods, 
this helps with the digestion of those foods, it helps with the absorption of those foods, and that green chlorophyll really promotes life. That is, you know, that's sun's energy that, yeah. that the plants uptake and then deliver back to us. And that's why you said, I'm full of energy after yeah. I drink that wheatgrass juice. And that's what this does. And, and I am now. Within you. I want to dance. <laughs> I wanna, this is really a good feeling on this product. Folks, many of you have to eat fast food. You pick the kids up from school, wham, stop and get them a burger. I understand that. I've been through that period in my life. Um, in lieu of not doing anything when you're eating pizza and hamburgers and soda and so forth, start doing this today. This is sweet wheat. You can do this. It's not expensive. Each child, you and your husband or you and your wife, should be taking this every day. But of course, then that begs the question, how do you get this? Now I've heard all sorts of things about it, good stuff. When we get back from this break, you'll realize how to get it. Get a pencil and paper. Have you been on every diet in the country and still not losing weight? Have you seen a nutritionist and continue gaining weight? The Fungus Link to Weight Loss is a science-based weight loss program for American families. Doug's book, The Fungus Link to Weight Loss, explains why you are overweight and it may not be that you're overeating. This book is loaded with amazing information that will affect your health in a good way so that you will know the cause. Go to knowthecause.com and order The Fungus Link to Weight Loss or call the number on the screen. This is the book that could change your life. The fiber in Nopal cactus that allows it to absorb water in a desert acts as a natural sponge in your stomach, absorbing water and giving you the feeling of fullness without side effects. Nopal absorbs sugar, keeping it from spiking in your blood. Nopal's insoluble fiber then works down the intestines acting as a natural colon cleanser absorbing wastes. Call Seagate at 1-888-505-GATE to order. Check out our internet specials at SeagateProducts.com. Now, you all know the grains are off the phase one diet, right? We talk about this all the time. Wheat uh, is not on the phase one diet. This is so different. It's diametric to the wheat that is sitting in the silo. Yes. Tell people a little bit about the raw product. Well, what it is, it's an actual vegetable at this stage. It's the grass, and then we cut it and juice it, and that's what you've got in there is the dried product. And so it's loaded with the enzymes, amino acids, all your minerals, all your vitamins, but it isn't that bad W word. It, yeah. And they can have it on the phase one diet because it's an actual vegetable. And, Doug, what's interesting is one serving of that is the equivalent of one and a half to two pounds of organic vegetables. Wow. So for people that don't want to eat their vegetables, take two capsules of sweet wheat. Take a half a teaspoon of sweet wheat. You got it all there. That's You guys, I'm watching the guys in the audience right now. No guy eats, you know, that much vegetable every day. Here's your out. Your wife just gives you a half a teaspoon, a teaspoon of sweet wheat every day, and you can drink it or swallow the capsules. As I'm listening to Lori today, as I'm listening to you, I'm getting it. Uh, this is interesting the way these foods, these superfoods, are replacing many of the vitamins and minerals. People are starting to eat organic, they're starting to take products like yours, and they're getting their amino acids in the case of proteins, but their vitamins and minerals by taking products like these. Is there an age limit? Can anybody take sweet wheat? Anyone can take sweet wheat, <clears throat> including pregnant ladies. It helps with the developing child. It's got folic acid in it, which is yep. a very primary thing for, for pregnant ladies. Full spectrum of vitamins and minerals and those live active enzymes helping her digest her food. You know, as it, everything gets bigger, there's less room for digestion, so it's really great for that. And uh, you can take it all the way up to when, before you step, you know, back back up to heaven. Uh, but uh, we've had ladies that were wonderful saying, I stopped gardening 20 years ago. I started taking your product and I get out there and garden before church and I come home after church and I'm moving the furniture around and wonderful testimonies. I talked to uh, Aaron in your office and he said, Doug, just have him call. I'll give him a special. Just pick up the phone, call the toll free number you see right down there and uh, they'll give you a special. One thing I want to talk with you about before we go and is... And Aaron's my son, by the way, my I youngest. I love him. <laughs> I saw pictures of him when he was eight or nine years old, yes. and now he's a grown, handsome man. Yes. 
Um, one thing I want to talk to you quickly, digestion. You keep saying that word. Your company has actually developed a kit, a digestion kit. Yes, that that's is for going another show. to do well. I know, <laughs> but I want these people to know that good health starts here in the belly. We tend to think it starts here. It starts here. When this works, everything works really yeah. well. And I'm when you really combine excited. the sweet wheat, because it's got all those things, but this digestive, uh, it's, a, it's a whole program. It's a system. Yep. And it is great. I am so proud of it. And we're going to talk about it hopefully in another show. But you put it all together with the sweet wheat and you've got wham, bang, great Great health, great blood, clean blood, you. good gut health. I love to see you this energetic. It's Thank really you. good to see you. Thank you for coming all the way out. Thank you. Don't go away, friends. I'll be right back with the closing of today's Know the Cause. Um, I was diagnosed with uh, arthritis in my left hip. I had a lot of pain in my leg. Well, they put me on a real heavy medication at an arthritis doctor. There's a natural solution, Flexin. I would have tinges of pain in my hips and my knees. <laughs> had a lot of pain in my leg. Gone, completely gone. I just love Flexin. Flexin has just made me feel super. Flexin will have you feeling better in no time. Call today. That's 1-800-END-PAIN. Nine word question I hear all the time. What in the world is this phase one diet? Fungi are pathogenic to man. They can cause disease and they're also parasites in man. They must eat your food. Don't let them do that. We know what they like to eat. Eating Your Way to Good Health is a recipe book that teaches you how to eat foods that fungus don't like. You can thrive, the fungus can't. It makes sense. Eating Your Way to Good Health. Pick it up today. and I were in this together and we support each other. Uh, we've gone mostly organic on our foods and stick to the phase one as close as we can. I was having problems with uh, some sinus infections and haven't had one of those in, in two years. Uh, even had some toenail fungus and, uh, and that went away too. So, and don't take any uh, prescriptions, no medicines and have been very healthy. I haven't had a slice of bread in uh, two years, haven't had a potato in two years, uh, dropped 20 pounds pretty quickly. It was pretty tough. The first couple of weeks I was uh, a bit on the irritable side, uh, but eventually kept getting better and it's just been a, it's really been a lifestyle change is what it's been. That was a good day, beginning with Denny and Bok Choy, all the way to sitting down with Kim and listening to Lori, folks. Uh, now, thank you for honoring our sponsors. There's the telephone number. Just write it down and give them a buzz. I really do find that when your pH is 7.0, 7.1, 0.2, etc., good health arrives for many, many people. Now, a quiz. Understand that these fungi collect and they grow these tail-like projections, hyphae they're called. Um, and they're also called, or they're made of mycelium, mycelium. So understand, the more we feed this fungus, the more those tails grow. They can poke a hole through the lumen, the lining of the intestine, etc. So the quiz today, true or false, the expansion of this tail-like on fungus is literally limitless as long as there are sufficient nutrients. The answer, my friends, is absolutely true. God bless you folks. Stop feeding the fungus. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.